Yo, how's it going you guys? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown Lettering Sessions. Um, I don't have too much time today, so hopefully we can get a decent amount of games in. Um, I really felt like using something with Crowdon on it, but I couldn't find any teams with Crowdon. So what I did find was a team with Entei that is awesome, and uh, my favorite starter, Beastoise and Hydreigon, which I love using in UU. Um, I really don't like Metagross in this tier. I just like, it's so slow, it, and just knowing that there's a Mega Metagross somewhere out there doing like so much more work than Metagross just makes me sad to see it in this state on a team. So, um, I, I didn't really like this team. I haven't tested it at all because I'm just jumping into it. Um, but what I'm attempting to do here is a ladder up on UU and uh, so that way we can play in UU again, but I can use a Cronon team that I had time to make, which I haven't done yet. So uh, hopefully by next showdown, I have a team that I built myself and we'll test it and see how it goes and have fun with all that. But for now, let's uh, kill some stuff with Entei and Hydreigon and all that. <coughs> um, all right. We got a Gaim, uh, Frost, Ass, Mega Beedro, and Polion. What? Why does it look like he has no offensive Pokemon on his team? This has to be like Choice Banded, right? And then Beedro. So those are his only offensive threats from what I could tell. <clears throat> uh, Choice Band Entei, I haven't even looked at like what this team has. Uh, Verizion, that'll be good. Uh, physical for Milotic. Rapid Spin, Wish Heal Bell Protect, Stealth Rock. Do I have, all right, I have Meteor Mash. Or er, Choice Scarf, ooh, I like. Okay. Um, I kind of, I'm not faster, hmm. I kind of want to lead Hydreigon. I can't just click Dark Pulse, it's Focus Dash, right? I want to lead Hydreigon. <laughs> um, I hate that I always have to calc stuff so much. All right, Hydreigon versus, what's this thing called, Frostless. Uh, Spike Sleed. It has Icy Wind at best. Well, that's what it's supposed to have anyways. Um, Ice Beam doesn't knock me out either though. Dark Pulse does knock him out. I have a chance to flinch. I'm Scarf, I'm faster. Let's do it. And it is sashed. Can we flinch it? Yeah, so now that's disabled, and he does go for the Icy Wind. That does a lot! Why does that do so much? Hello? That's a Hydreigon with, like, no... No, like, HP investment or anything. 32 to 39? Nah. This dude's gotta be, like, modest. What the hell? I gotta do so much. Alright, um, I think here, I really don't want to let him get up hazards like that, but I also can't really just let something die. Um, kind of want to go Metagross, I guess. That's not really a, a thing. Um, as I think I want to go for... I'm gonna try going for Meteor Mash in case he wants to go. See, damn, I wanted to go for Earthquake too. But I didn't think he would go Entei, or Entei, Arcanine. I thought he would go uh, Espeon, if anything. <coughs> um, I'm shook a berry, but. Alright, so we know he's. Uh... Oh my gosh, go to the UU one. Um, we know he's defensive Arcanine, okay. So Flare Blitz does a decent amount. Damn, Earthquake could have just about knocked him out too. I'm gonna go for Rocks. Oh, that's unfortunate. So he's definitely just gonna like heal against us and stuff. Um, I might just let this thing go down at whenever it does. Ooh, ooh, I like this. He takes Recoil and the Earthquake, so that'll put him in range of uh, something probably. <laughs> Let's see, but we do get the uh, the rocks up 
Dark Pulse 39 to 47. Okay. Well, I can always go for Draco Meteor. It's like that I took so much from that for no reason. Yeah, it seems like my only option, to be honest. So I'm going to take it. Because if he wants to switch out, then when he comes back in, he's definitely in range. So he's going to E-speed. And we do connect, so that's going to take out the Arcanine. So definitely worth. Arcanine is gone. Um, Frostlass is gone. Unless he defogs, which he could definitely do here with Empoleon. Yeah. Um, let's see. How much does Empoleon take from, like, Sacred Fire? Let's say he is offensive defog. Huh. Still doesn't kill. Or does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> um... Hmm. <coughs> I don't know what set he is either. I mean, we do have Aura Sphere. Do I need Virizion? I kind of do, yeah. I need Virizion for my Lotic. So I think I just want to go Blastoise, I guess, if anything. I can try and uh, Aura Sphere this man. Mega Blasty. I like that this one has Aura Sphere too. That's cool. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's not like Life Orb or anything. So, huh. It sucks that we got rid of the rocks. So, I think, I think I want to Scald first off. Hmm. Because I, I shouldn't have done that because. Aura Sphere is not what Blastoise normally runs, and I don't want him to go Frostlass now. Okay, he doesn't. Cool. That's hella bulky. As he's gonna roar me out into Virizion, so that's cool, because I could kind of just kill this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure Leaf Blade knocks it out. He's definitely uh, bulkier. Let's see, like, specially defensive. Virizion, Swords Dance, Leaf Blade does, should do enough to knock it out, so I'm gonna go for that. Cool. So his Defogger is gone. Um, he could always go Frostlass now if he wants, um, but my Stealth Rocker is gone, that's a little annoying. Granted, I don't think I need Entei like that. I'm definitely not leaving this in. I don't know, who you're kidding, bro? Um, I think if anything, I'll go Sylveon. I need that the least, and I can try and heal something. I mean, he could have Taunt, too. Yeah, no, get out of here, bro. Um, I think I might Hyper Voice, expecting him to Taunt. Yeah. So we get to take out the Frostlass. <coughs> and live to wish another day. Not if he goes Beedrill, though. He kind of might just get a kill with Beedrill. <laughs> what? <laughs> Taunt's obvious, bro. Um, so here... Ugh, I don't want to just let something die. I do feel like he's going to U-turn, though. I really don't need Sylveon for anything else. I'm just going to Hyper Voice, see what he does. Yeah, he's just going to Poison Jab. That's fine. how we do that's how we do um hmm. so mega b drill right <laughs> mega b drill versus ente oh my gosh <laughs> why do you like almost die to east speed i'm going for it this is a little unfortunate because he could get switches into things like Milotic. But, yeah. Alright, cool. So, the majority of his offensive presence is gone. Okay. GG, sure. <laughs> um, all he had left was an Espeon and a Milotic, which I don't think could have beat me. I don't know. 
Maybe. I probably would have had to switch around a bit, depending on how much he switched around. If he just left stuff in to die, then he wasn't going to win. Um, but, you know, not a bad game. Let's find another one. All right, we got one. Is Mega Sceptile in this tier? It is. Dawn Fan is scary. I never liked Dawn Fan. Um, hmm. And he's got a Galvantula. Why do I not have an answer for that? I really don't. If anything, like Sylveon is my answer, which is not a good one. Hmm. I think I do want to lead Sylveon though. As he leaves with Rodom, so that... Wait, no. <laughs> we don't have the advantage here. He has the advantage. Um, I think I do just want to go for a Wish right away. It'll, it'll allow something to come in, which is nice. <coughs> um, I don't know if I want to go into Entei. I mean, I guess I could get off a Choice Band, Boosted Flare Blitz. I have the Wish up, so if he Volt switches, that's fine. Yeah, because I'm just going to get the HP back. Um, he definitely has switches for this, but it would have been nice to Hyper Voice there instead. As he's going to go Vaporeon. We're going to get that HP back. And, uh... Honestly, though... I think we can get up our rocks. See, that's why I don't like Metagross in this tier. It's It seems like so weak and so slow compared to what Metagross could be. It's, it just makes me sad. It makes me cry on the inside. Um, I'm gonna Thunder Punch. Cause damage! How does he get rid of, oh, Dawn Fan. I was like, how does he get rid of hazards? Rocky Homie, oh, paralyzed! <laughs> that is pretty funny, actually. Um, I, hmm. I kinda wanna go Verizion, to be honest. I can save Metagross as a rocker and be good for if Dawn Fan comes out. I mean, not really, but maybe Hydreigon is a better. Yeah, I'm gonna go Hydreigon. Oh, he's gonna heal though, okay. Well, all right. So Vaporeon, yeah, is more on the physical side. Hydreigon. Draco Meteor can do like half, but that's about it. Dark Pulse does booty damage. Um, I kind of want to U-turn here. As he's just going to stay in. Thinking about going Blastoise? I Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to go Sylveon. Because I have Heal Bell, I don't have to worry about getting burned. And Leftovers. This, this is like the option that gives me like the most HP I feel and Dawn fan doesn't really want to switch into hyper voice as he doesn't have uh, leftovers either he can definitely go Dawn fan now and just get all his HP back but that's what he's gonna do or needle queen I guess but needle queen doesn't get rid of rocks I figure he'd want to do that as soon as possible with Galvantula Dawn fan and Rodham being around also, Sceptile doesn't resist it, so. <clears throat> I figure he'd go Needle Queen here, though. Which, I also don't think I have a switch to. No, he decides to go run him. Okay, well. I mean, he's gonna take that just fine. As, I think I'm gonna go for Wish. Maybe I can heal my Metagross. I don't like how... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of UU unless I'm using just like a bunch of offense, you know? Otherwise, I just feel like it's, it's lame. Should we be a boss and expect a poison move? I mean, we can't do anything to this Needle Queen either way. I'm gonna I'm a try and be a boss. He could easily earth, uh, go for a ground move. So that's fine. 
Um, but just in case he didn't, I actually wanted to go Hydreigon, but I need Hydreigon more than I need a Metagross. Uh, now I can go Blastoise. So. Hey, and I am going for. <coughs> Should I go for Aura Sphere? Kind of want to click Ice Beam in case he stays in. Yeah. Damn it. I mean, I'm not going for a water move. I ain't stupid, bro. Am I faster? I am faster. I can click Aura Sphere now. If I would have clicked it then, though, would have been way better. This should knock it out. Like, my special attack is bananas. So his Vaporeon is gone, which is really cool. Because that was definitely, like... I just didn't want to play around with Scald and all that. As he does have a lot of things for Blastoise, so... But Blastoise is definitely worth keeping because in the end, it can do a lot to, like, Donphan and, um... And, uh, Nidoqueen. I actually want to see, like... If he just decides to stay in and sticky web, how much I can actually do to him. 79 to 39 is how much Scald does. And my max special attack. Ooh. Ooh. Scald can actually knock him out. Thunder can knock us out too, but... Ah, he doesn't get the roll. You boy! So Galvantula's gone. That's cool. Um... Blastoise is definitely useful. Um, I'm definitely gonna switch now. Um, I don't know who a good switch is though. If he's gonna go for like a grass move or something. Honestly, Virizion does just as little as Blastoise does, but I feel like I definitely appreciate Blastoise more. <clears throat> as he goes for a Dragon Pulse, gets a crit. So that kind of sucks. Um, what does more? Egg scissor or close combat? Shouldn't it do like the same or something? Close combat leaf blade. Egg scissor. Yeah, close combat does more. Man, that sucks. He wouldn't have been able to kill me with that otherwise. Um, as I just get to go for Draco now, I think. Or I could go Sylveon in Hyper Voice. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm dying. I kind of like Draco better. I, I want to put more pressure on him. This makes his team take more damage. Yeah, I'm just going to Draco. Like, Rodham's not taking these. Yeah. Or it shouldn't anyways. Oh, I hope not. 30%? Come on now. Ugh. Oh, but he did Volt Switch. I mean, he gets to Rapid Spin now, so... That sucks. <coughs> hmm. As I kind of don't have a Switch. Uh... I need Sylveon now. Maybe I'll just stay in and Draco. Get a crit? How cool would that be? Where's Sue's Dawn fan? I can find out if he's uh, possibly a salt vest too. Which he might be. No. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, I'm gonna Draco. I just, I just want to get damage off on him because I don't have a switch here. I don't want to go Sylveon and get Earthquake because Sylveon is potentially my answer to be a uh, Sceptile. And I need Blastoise too. So. Lowest special attack possible. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he is Stealth Rock. Okay, so he's, yeah. I mean, definitely not Assault Vest after that damage. Um, Blastoise can still come in on rocks, but it can't really come in on any other hit. So that kind of sucks. We might have to just save Blastoise for Nidoking. As uh, Draco Meteor is still doing a decent amount. Hmm. Yeah. Because Blastoise would be able to knock this out later. And does it have to be Nidoqueen? Queen? 
it just barely does if he has investment then it's not gonna happen as um i guess this is working out for us because if he um if his only other move is knockoff, it's definitely in his better interest not to go for knockoff because I'm choiced and he knows it, so I can change up my moves. Oh my gosh, I don't like that I keep missing though. <clears throat> Honestly, it kind of is better. See, he would have been dead by now if I didn't miss those Dracos. But now I only have that one left. Uh. I'm just gonna stay in. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, because he could definitely try an earthquake. That was not happening. So I can try and go Sylveon now. Yeah, I might be able to win in the end if I could get past Needle Queen. Win with Entei. But I don't know about that one. But. I am gonna go for the hyper voice here knock this thing out I guess I should have gone for protect to get more leftovers but that like really Mega Sceptile should not be able to knock me out if Sylveon is like any kind of like decent yeah so he does go into Needle Queen Oh, see, this is where things kind of suck. I'm going to go for Protect here. <clears throat> so he goes for the Poison Jab. Does that knock me out? Needle Queen. Like, does he have Poison Jab over Sludge Wave? Poison jab, am I? There's no way that's my set. Oh, it's close. That's pretty much my set, yeah. So, yeah, Sludge Wave actually. Poison jab doesn't knock me out. Sludge Wave can knock me out. <coughs> can knock me out. But I can't really do anything back to him. If he goes for Earth Power now, that's kind of bad. Uh. All right, I'm just gonna go Ente now. I don't think that's the right play, but we'll see if it works out. Mmm. Okay. So we definitely outspeed this. So what's the play here? Do we E speed for damage? Cause this will take care of like if he switches too. You know. Choice Band E Speed does like 47%. That'll definitely put him in range of Scald. Sacred Fire can almost knock him out too. Mega Sceptile. Sacred Fire knocks out Mega Sceptile. Honestly, Sacred Fire knocks out anything he wants to switch into, so I'm definitely going for that. Oh, but then. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. But then Sceptile is faster. That's the whole reason why I wanted to go for E Speed. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I, I lost now. That's the whole reason why I want to go for E-Speed. Completely forgot. Because that would have done so much damage to him. Yeah. That was totally my bad. I just like completely threw the game. I'm just going to wish here. Um, he should not be able to knock me out with Poison Jab. So, I guess I'm just going to Hyper Voice. If he has Sludge Wave, that'll knock me out, but okay. Never mind. Ugh. That's so annoying that I threw the game like that. GG. That was not what I was supposed to do. And he was faster than me. But, um. Yeah, I was just looking at the damage, not remembering what I had thought earlier was for that to happen. For me to have Entei out and just E speed, because then he'd switch. And then I can two hit KO Needle Queen because he'd have to switch into that. I mean, I guess if he was faster, if his Needle Queen was faster than my Blastoise, it didn't matter either way. Because he was gonna just be able to beat me with that. 
So that was just an unfortunate one. But even the strategy I had put into place beforehand didn't work out. But let's find another game. All right, we got one with Lucario. Aerodactyl Suicune. Hmm. Yeah, I just feel like UU is just so many like basic, like the same stuff every time. That's why I like don't ever really play that tier or play this tier that much. Like I don't even really like Choice Bandit Entei. Cause like switch-ins for Entei are so easy, you know? Um Let's see, what do I even lead with against like a fortress or something? <coughs> I think I'll lead No, I can't even I guess I can. Lead Hydreigon and U-turn, because if he's not leftovers, then we know he's cussed at. And if he is leftovers, then we know he's not cussed at, so it's not like an issue. So we're going to U-turn here, not bad. And I guess going to Metagross? That's not really a... I mean, whatever. How does this team beat Sylveon? I guess overpowering it with Entei. <clears throat> As he's gonna go into Suicune. And I guess Entei does, in a sense, beat Sylveon. <coughs> Good to know. We're gonna Thunder Punch. Nah, bro. Not about to let you set up in my face like that. Yeah, I guess I'll stay in. Okay, he's gonna go Fortress now. Let's find out what set you are. Oh, paralyzed. All right, so he's not cussed out. Good to know. Um, <clears throat> so we are gonna go Entei, I think. I like Entei better. Yeah, gonna go Entei. Fire off some sacred fires. Or should I switch expecting uh, Suicune? I think I will do that. Maybe. I mean, how much does Suicune take from this? He's a... Uh, Crocoon? Which one is the one with sub? Oh yeah, he eats this. The only one he doesn't take is Stone Edge. <coughs> I could go out into Brizion though. I'm gonna do that. Try and set up on him. Hey, what's up, my dude? <laughs> Alright, Virizion. Leaf Blade it does not even do that much to this thing. Um, but I'll definitely go for it. Does he have Ice Beam? No, he's just going for Scald. Okay. And he doesn't get the burn, so not bad. That did 47, so... What does more to Aerodactyl? That's what I would expect to come out I guess alright well I don't have stone edge so uh, close combat does a lot but how much does it do to Suicune yeah it doesn't knock him out I have to go for leaf blade that's okay though like with the damage from stealth rocks as he goes fortress anyways um, but the damage from stealth rocks would have been nice from uh, for aerodactyl as how much does fortress take from this Well, close combat does a decent amount. I'm at plus two, four. And I need to be at like plus six to knock him out. I mean, what's he gonna do? He might just volt switch here. Hmm. I think I want to go Entei now, because now Suicune can't switch into my uh, Sacred Fire. <coughs> Alright, maybe now it can, but it's definitely not going to appreciate it, and it won't be able to sub after. <clears throat> yeah, he, he doesn't have... Okay. <laughs> Why do you forfeit? Because he ran out of switches? Whatever, dude! Alright, um... Let's see if I have time for one more. Alright, we got one more game against the Swampy. 
Oh, love Swampert. If I can make a team with like Swampert, Mega Swampert, and Crawdont, totally do it. And he has a Honchkrow. I want a Honchkrow on that team. Nah, I can't have a Honchkrow on a Crawdont. What am I thinking? Um, hmm. How um, much? No, that's not even gonna say what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I'm gonna lead Hydreigon to potentially break a Sayosh. As he's gonna lead Honchkrow. What can Hydreigon do to Honchkrow? Curiouser and Curiouser. Honch. Murder Crow. Alright, well, let's Draco Meteor or something, I guess. <laughs> think he's gonna stay in and let me do it? I think he's gonna let me do it? No. <laughs> no, he didn't let me do it. Alright, well, <laughs> I tried. Um. Wow, Metagross cannot do anything to Bronzong. You know this boy got toxic. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a switch to Blastoise. Let's go Blastoise. I really want to get him my rocks, but... Oh! He doubled. <laughs> plays the plays. Dang, Mega Blastoise versus Mega Swampert. Oh, your boy is about to go down. Oh, he does more than we do to him. Ooh, but we go boy in him. Let's try it. Oh, he's not Mega. Burn him! He's defensive. Is this what we're doing now? Playing the who can burn who faster game? I'm down. I'm dangerous. Living life on the hedge. Let's see what you got, hombre. I know you don't have a switch to Scald. I know you gotta stay in. Hey, there we go. <laughs> don't burn me. I have a Sylveon. I ain't even scared. Alright, alright. Here's what we do now. We go Sylveon. We stall this man out. Oh! Oh! We just got predicted. Alright. I'm a wish. He's gonna go bronze on. Oh, okay. I was thinking Arcanine. But. Going back out into Blastoise. <laughs> Yo. No! It doesn't matter, honestly. We have Heal Bell in the back. We got Heal Bell, my dude. Ah! Hey, that's okay. Swampert's gonna be gone soon. Don't you worry. And then where's your Scald switch in? Gone. That's where it is. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna Heal Bell this turn. If he really wants to go Bronzong, he can. He's gonna go into my man Vanshee. Um, and I mean, we have Hyper, hyper Voice, bro. Ooh! Oi! Damage. I'm a wish. <coughs> bro, you, you, it doesn't matter, brah. Doesn't matter, bro. You don't have an answer to Blast Do. The one part of this team I can always rely on. Hello? You think that does anything? I have a Sylveon, bruh. Bruh. Come on. Come on, man. Ooh. Okay, well, that's just unfortunate. I'm gonna try and heal Bill. That is actually unfortunate. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, I don't really want this man to SD in my face. But what can I do to stop it? I mean, I have a Metagross. That should be able to do things, right? Alright, Sylveon. What can you do to Lucario? Hyper Voice does <coughs> a lot! And unless this man is packing Iron Tail, which... Let's see how much that does. Okay, unless this man is packing Iron Tail, 
Nah. <laughs> we chilling. Woo! You got flash cannon? I didn't actually look into that one. Flash cannon does, does actually a decent amount, so. Um, I'm gonna go Metagross here. Oh, okay, well. I mean, I guess if I get to get my rock stuff, that's cool. Galvantula will die coming into that, and Swampert will die plus the burn, so. How do you get rid of hazards on this team? Trick? Hello? Alright, first off, I will gladly take a choice ban. Second, do I want to heal my Sylveon? Yeah, I do. It's choice banded. You should have tricked my Sylveon, if anything. Um. Oh yeah, Swampert's burned, so I'm gonna wish. <coughs> he can't do anything to me. Oh my gosh, why did I do so much? <laughs> All right, so he does go down here. Um, as I'm just gonna protect with my Sylveon. I think if he's Nasty Plot Lucario, that's even easier. I could definitely just kill it with E-Speed, so... <laughs> kill it with E-Speed. <laughs> kill it with E's. That's, that's the joke I was thinking. I know it wasn't that funny. But, when I thought of it, I was like, this is great. Um, let's go Metagross now. Is he choice in with that as well? We're choice bandit, bruh! Clear body failed. Alright, let's, uh... Honchkrow, you gotta die to, like, either one of these, right? Like... Metagross. Bruh. Offensive Stealth Rock. But... I'm choice banded. Yeah, Meteor Mash destroys this thing. How much does Thunder Punch do, though? Ooh, even more. Um, yeah, I'd rather Thunder Punch, honestly. Why was I faster? Oh, all right. We're max speed? We're not max speed. That dude had no speed. <laughs> all right, he just, for, yo, we played that man like nobody's business, to be honest. Blastoise was ready to clean up that game too. <laughs> that was actually very enjoyable. A, a good way to end it for sure. So that's going to be the battle, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'm going to definitely work on a Crawdon team because I I don't know. Out of all these tiers I've played in, I really don't enjoy UU that much. But uh, maybe with the right team, I can learn to enjoy it. So hopefully that happens next time. But until then, I'm Dewey Steel. Keep on watching. See you guys in the next video. Later, guys.